Today on the channel, we'll be touring Peoria Sports Complex, a spring training ballpark, which is another first for the channel. Which means we're back down in the desert. This time we're in Peoria, Arizona, in the Phoenix metro area, at the home of the San Diego Padres and Seattle Mariners spring training. Every photo you see today was taken by me. Don't forget to subscribe to the channel. You can like the video as well. Write in the comment section what you like about this ballpark. And with that, let's start the tour. The Peoria Sports Complex consists of the main ballpark and in the practice fields and stuff like that around it for the spring training. Today, I'm going to be specifically talking about the main ballpark that they play the spring training games in. That ballpark opened up back in 1994 and has a concurrent capacity of 11,333. Given that this is a spring training ballpark, it has a pretty simple layout. It has chair back seating behind home plate and down the first and third baseline. The ballpark doesn't have any suites or anything like that, but it does have a small press box behind home plate. In the outfield, the seating is lawn seating, which I'd say is pretty standard for spring training ballparks. There may be a couple that have some seating and things like that, but this is pretty typical. This is a view out at that lawn seating. You can see people are, you know, they have blankets. It's fairly spread out and the view is not terrible, but you do, you do kind of have to fight for a spot. The batter's eye in center field is pretty basic, about as simple as you can get, but it's a, it's a spring training ballpark, so I can't complain too much. They do have one uh, video scoreboard out in left field. It is pretty large, but you know there's no instant replay or anything that really on, like that on there. They do show the players and things like that, so it's better than nothing. When you're out in the outfield, they have the lawn seating, and then on the other side, they have concession stands. And you can see here they have a path going right through the middle, so you can walk all the way around the stadium, get concessions, or if you're out on the lawn, you know you're right there. For my beer drinkers out there, out in right field, they have the West Coast Beer Garden. You can see from this photo, they have some local breweries to San Diego and things like that, like Stone Brewing. On the opposite side, out in left field, they have a tent structure with some seating, which is great on a hot day, especially those hotter days in Arizona. And to not be outdone by the beer garden out in right field, the tent structure in left does have a bar as well. So you're not just sitting there, you can order a drink. We've talked about the chair back seating and the lawn seating. There is a small portion out down the first base line out in the outfield that actually does have bleacher seating. And when you're looking out there as well, they also have a little bridge, pedestrian bridge that goes across. So that's pretty cool. This is a view standing on that bridge I was just talking about looking back towards the field. It, you have to go over the bridge if you want to walk all the way around the ballpark. When you're walking around the ballpark in the chair back seating, there's two levels of walkways, one up above and then one kind of through the middle. More or less throughout that area, there's two sections of seating and you can see that right behind home plate, there's actually a small third section of seating. This is up looking down from that third section of seating right behind home plate. You're not up very high because you know, it's really in line with the rest of the level two seating if you were anywhere else in the in the ballpark. The bullpens are located in the outfield. Each one is located towards the foul pole, one in left field, one in right field. When I went to the game, San Diego was actually playing Seattle. Seattle was in left field and San Diego was in right field. This is a small spring training ballpark, so it really doesn't matter where you sit. There's not a bad seat in the house. This is the lower level right behind home plate, so of course it's a great view. And of course, I've showed this view earlier, but if you're up towards the very top, it's, it's not much farther away. So you really don't have to worry about having a bad seat. It's just really, can you get behind home plate or are you going to be out in the outfield? And if you want chair back seating, bleacher seating, or lawn seating. This is a view of walking around the concourse behind home plate. I think the concourse layout in this ballpark is great. You have a lower area down low, and then you can walk up some stairs and they have some bridges you can see here. And then there's a, an area up top that has concessions as well. A majority of the concessions I would say are down at ground level. If you do go up top, there's some concessions down the, for, uh, the third baseline there's a bridge you can take across and there's some concessions there. There's, I didn't really see a lot of concessions down the first baseline. There's 
there's one or two small ones. When we went, they were actually out of hot dogs. And we had to, you know, walk around. So keep that in mind. The last thing to note about the ballpark is they have a small canopy structure that covers some of the seating. It's not a full-on shade structure. It's, you know, it's graded, it's open, but it does help a little bit and just something to, to point out. Every video I like to throw a photo myself in at the ballpark, just showing that I was actually there. This takes us towards the end of our tour. Write in the comments section what stadium or ballpark you want me to do next. Don't forget to subscribe to the channel and like this video. With that, I think that's it. So take care and until next time.